Hello, Douglas County. Welcome to this week's DCTV 23 weekly update on COVID-19. I'm Rick Martin, Director of Communications and Community Relations. And I'm Communications and Media Specialist Lena Hardy. Thank you for joining us. First, we hope you and your families enjoyed your Easter holiday last Sunday, even with severe weather concerns. In regard to the severe weather storms that started late Sunday evening and continued into Monday morning, Chairman Dr. Ramona Jackson-Jones released the following statement. We offer our sincere condolences to the families who lost loved ones in the state because of the storms coming in from Alabama. I'm grateful we were spared. Despite being spared from severe weather, COVID-19 continues to impact our community. And according to the latest Georgia Situation Report, as of April 16th at 12 noon, Douglas County has 201 confirmed cases of people with the coronavirus. And sadly, six of our own citizens have passed away due to the virus. On behalf of the chairman, Dr. Ramona Jackson-Jones and the Board of Commissioners, we would like to send our deepest sympathy to those individuals and their families. With the virus being the forefront of all of our concerns, establishing a testing site in Douglas County was extremely important, especially for the chairman and the board. Therefore, we were happy to announce last week that Cobb and Douglas Public Health opened a free COVID-19 testing site in Douglas County at Hunter Park on Friday, April 10th. This new testing site, which is one of 31 testing sites in the state of Georgia, is primarily for Douglas County residents, but will also test residents in nearby communities such as Cobb, Fulton, and Carroll County. Please remember that in order to visit this testing site, you must have an appointment. For more information regarding how Douglas County is handling the COVID-19 pandemic, be sure to watch my co-host Rick Martin's special one-on-one -on -one interview with Chairman Dr. Ramona Jackson-Jones on our Douglas County Happenings Facebook page. Oh, thank you, Lena. The Douglas County's Tax and Tag Office Building is currently closed to the public, but employees are in place between 9 a.m. and 2 p.m. Monday through Friday to answer telephone calls and emails. The Tax and Tag Office also has a drop box located in the parking lot to continue fulfilling the needs of the public. For questions and concerns, you are invited to visit their website at douglastax.org, douglastax.org. Speaking of taxes, yesterday, April 15th was tax day, but this year tax day was a little different. Check your bank accounts, ladies and gentlemen, because you might have a little extra added on to your balance due to the release of stimulus checks from the IRS. This applies to you if you are a tax filer with an adjusted gross income up to $75,000 for individuals and up to $150,000 for married couples filing joint returns. Individuals will receive $1,200 and married couples will receive $2,400. Parents will also receive $500 for each qualifying child. For more information, visit irs.gov slash coronavirus. Thank you. In light of the public health emergency posed by COVID-19, the illness caused by the coronavirus, Secretary of State Brad Raffensperger has announced that the presidential primary rescheduled for May 19th has been delayed yet again to June 9th. If you didn't cast your ballot during advance voting, be sure to complete the information on the absentee ballot application to ensure you are able to vote. Also, please be sure to complete the 2020 census for your household. Each district commissioner recorded a PSA regarding COVID-19, urging the community to practice social distancing, wash hands consistently, and stay home. You can watch each of these PSAs on DCTV 23 YouTube channel. Also, remember District 3 Commissioner Terenia Carthen and First Baptist Church of Douglasville have partnered with Atlanta Community Food Bank to bring the public a drive through community food giveaway on April 17th at 1 p.m. at First Baptist Church on Presley Mill Road. The first 100 cars will receive food. Douglas County citizens, please continue to remain informed and engaged and follow our daily updates on CelebrateDouglasCounty.com. Douglas County Happenings Facebook page 
and our DC TV 23 Facebook page. We would like to end this week's show with a touching tribute to the healthcare workers of Wellstar Douglas Hospital. Douglas County firefighters were filmed in a procession circling the hospital. Sirens on, horns blaring, lights flashing, and a salute to the medical workers on the front line of the coronavirus crisis. Nurses, doctors, and other hospital workers showed their appreciation coming out in scrubs to thank the firefighters. Thank you for watching. See you next week.